What is going on you guys? It's Zach Nichols here, impromptu video, talking to a buddy of mine who is in the same case. We got out of the army at the same time, and it's we're making a transition from the military world to the professional world. So we have to build our brand, build ourselves with him. Uh, I won't name him, but he has to build his brand in marketing and in real estate. He's a realtor now at the city I live in, and um, I'm continuing my education and also going to an army officer program where I can make more money in order to use that money to make money as an entrepreneur later. Um, and he, he's one that's really got my hype train going. And it's weird to see him almost as a mentor kind of low. He has no motivation. He knows exactly what he needs to do, but he lacks the motivation to do it. And what um, I'm, I've studied biochemistry. I'm studying anatomy. I'm studying you know, biomedical sciences as a concentration. Um, I'm going to come through everything from a biological standpoint, from a biological perspective. And so what I'm telling him is that I know, for example, I know for a fact he doesn't eat right, doesn't sleep right, doesn't exercise. And exercise doesn't have to be the gym. It doesn't have to be running. It doesn't have to be maximal effort. It could be activity. I just, so he doesn't, Eat right, doesn't sleep right, nutrition's probably wrong, probably doesn't drink enough water, etc. Um, like I said, no activity. And with lack of activity in our new 2017, right, we're mostly indoors. Like right now, I'm indoors, I'm studying for an anatomy 2 exam. Uh, talked to him a little bit, he was bummed out. But I guess my point is, you gotta get sunshine. So I told him, Motivation isn't a magical thing. It, it's actually a chemical. It's, it's a chemical. It's something that doesn't go in any specific order. It's happening all at the same time. Um, and you need all these special ingredients. You need proper nutrition. You need proper amount of sleep. You need some physical activity. And you need the sunshine. You're not going to get vitamin D. You're not going to have proper calcium absorption. You're not going to have serotonin and proper circadian rhythms which will further affect your sleep, further affect your motivation, and bad todays will also feed into worse tomorrows. So start a better tomorrow today with those things. And what I'd use was the analogy of the Limitless movie. Uh, if you've seen L Limitless, great movie with Bradley Cooper, one of my favorites. Uh, for me, it talks about, really it's, it's, it's entertaining the idea of human potential. Yeah, it's, you know, kind of gimmicky with a pill that unlocks portions of your brain. But really what it's talking about is his side effects. When he doesn't eat right, he doesn't sleep right, when he doesn't exercise, and when he actually drinks too much alcohol in the movie, he has blackouts. He has these side effects. He loses time and wakes up somewhere else with all kinds of dramatic consequences. Losing his job, losing certain relationships, uh, certain influence he has in his organization. And so what you need to do, what we all need to do, um, I'm an advocate for a high-protein, low-carb diet. That's just me. But uh, I know for some people like vegans, I have good friends that are vegans, it's hard to do the high-protein, low-carb because a lot of their you know, food is based on wheat, starches. I just ate an amazing vegan menudo yesterday full of corn, starch, you know, hominy. But regardless, you have to get what you believe to be a proper diet, make the right choices, get out there and get some of that sunshine, you just have to check all the blocks. You know, it's, it's like certain requirements you have every day. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. What are the requirements for a good day and a good tomorrow? Like I said, for me, it's proper diet and mental diet, meaning the activity what we do and what we read, and then proper sleep, no excess alcohol, no excess vices. And um, if you follow that, it's too simple. But I'm, th I'm hoping he can see what I wrote, because I actually wrote all this out to him in a way, you know, not in such a rant. I think it was more organized in messages, but I, I think... I hope it gets to him. I hope he sees it and it at least gets him out of bed. I know another tip. 
I like to get up and get fully dressed. If you're somebody that can work from home or you're a student, whether it be a law student, you know, some kind of professional program, or undergrad, don't stay at home in your pajamas. Don't stay at home in your boxers. Get up, get fully dressed. You know, you feel good. You look good. You feel good. And um, right now, summertime tea, but I'm fully dressed. Uh, get up, get some music on, get whatever it is that gets you going. For me, a big problem was snoozing. If I didn't have to be up, like the army physically makes you get up, I didn't have that physical obligation anymore. So, it became a a willpower challenge became a discipline challenge every day. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. What do you think is important ingredients for a better today and a better tomorrow? Appreciate you guys listening. Subscribe and follow. Uh, encourage me for new ideas. I just like to have this conversation with you guys. I like to have this this dialogue in the comments. And as always, uh, wish me luck on my exam. <laughs> I go back to studying. Have a good one, guys.